is up? Oh shit, the camera's over here. But... What is up, guys, and welcome to another episode of the Pez Universe podcast. As you can see, I've got two absolute legends of the Pez community with me. I don't have Wes with me. He's not. Uh, he's not around tonight, unfortunately. Some sort of bullshit excuse, you know, priorities and all that should be with us. But look, we've got the Vernimator and we've got Ricky, aka the True Brits. Boys, what's the crack? What's up? Oh, good mate, you? Good, good. Ricky, yeah, can you hear good. us? Yeah, Ricky can hear us. Yeah, 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 I can hear you. Cool, cool. I'm good. I mean, Not too bad, just hot. Boys, we've got a lot, we've got a lot yeah. of footy news. Obviously, we we're just talking about the transfers before stuff kicked off there. But the main topic is, of course, going to be Pez or e football. Um, we've talked about it. I mean, Ricky, I know you've been streaming a lot, doing a lot of videos. Vern, you've been very outspoken on it as well. But it's uh, it's brilliant to get you guys on to the to the podcast to to spit to spit your uh, to spit your frustrations, and maybe we'll find some positives in there at the end of the conversation. But we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, I mean, just to dive in because a lot of people have been asking for for your thoughts and stuff. So I do appreciate you taking the time to come on to the podcast. Um, I know Ricky, it's like daytime for you there, so you know with the, the time difference. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, where do we want to start? I mean, I, I I'm finding it even hard. Same in the last podcast, I'm finding it hard to even jump in on this because there's so much stuff to get through. Um, I mean, I suppose we have to start getting your initial impressions of where your thoughts are. I'll start with you, Vern, because I can see you're chomping at the bit. Oh, there. I knew you would. I am. I am. <laughs> Like, well, what's your initial impressions start? now? Like, we're on a week after after we've seen the stuff come out and stuff. Like, you've had a bit of time to to chill with it. You know, what are your yeah, thoughts I mean, now? I was saying to you before we came on air, it's like, I've calmed a little bit. Mm. But as we get talking this evening, I won't be calm by the time we finish. I just, <laughs> it just feels like the hardcore fan base mm. have kind of been diminished for the, the new generation of Pez player. Um and I'm not sure, well, we are sure where the direction is going. It's mobile focused. I don't think we can deny that. Yeah. Um, but one of my biggest gripes, and it's, it's not necessarily the trailer, the graphics, the gameplay, et cetera. It's what they told us 12 months ago. And I don't know whether you guys remember this article, but can I just read a few paragraphs? Yeah, man. Because I think it'll, it'll trigger a few things for all of us. <laughs> um, so they released this on the in-between between 2020 and the 2021 season update, right? And this, this is not my words. This is Konami. It's, it's yeah. on their official site. Taking Pez to a whole new level. The header. As the industry stands on the precipice of an exciting new generation of consoles, so we, we're talking about <laughs> consoles here right now, we believe that now is the perfect time to share some of our plans for the future of the Pez franchise with you. To that end, we are excited to announce that we are hard at work on a next generation football title that aims to truly embody our core concept of the pitch is ours. Now, this is, this is a good paragraph. This, next <laughs> this title is being developed. Like David Attenborough here reading to me. <laughs> this title is being developed with an updated engine that will enable us to dazzle you with staggering improvements to all areas of the game. Expect more realistic player models and animations, enhanced physics, photorealistic visuals, and much, much more. We recognize that many of you are enthusiastic for new My Club and Master League content, and we are also excited to share that large updates are in the works for both of these modes. And I think we should leave it there, because <laughs> were any of you dazzled last week? Oh, I was dazzled by how fucking bad the trailer was, yeah. That's about it. Exactly. Well, that, so, that's not oh, Whedon's work, right? He's no, left, isn't he? No. No. It, no yeah, that's so you could tell it was complete. Yeah, yeah, you could tell, yeah. It just felt very amateur. It was, I just feel a bit embarrassed if, if that was me, because I'm in the marketing industry anyway. Mm. And I wouldn't, as a professional, I wouldn't have wanted that to go out. I wouldn't even want my name attached yeah. to that. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it felt soulless. There was, not, there was nothing engaging about it, nothing to, to get you excited. It just felt like we've seen this before kind of thing mm. and obviously they don't, they've diminished the name Pez and they've gone free football but it felt so Pez mm. yeah, it but still not was for the Pez, better like, either really, yeah. you know so it's just I don't know what whatever they projected there 12 months ago mm. I feel like they've just gone on a different route as time has passed for whatever reason mm. and some are, say, some are saying that you know mobile was always the plan the mobile route but I, I just feel like they've 
gone off piste with it and gone to the mobile route. Someone must have knocked on the door at, you know, Konami HQ and gone, look at these figures for mobile. Yeah. We're absolutely creaming it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it's just how it felt to me. And then it's it's been stripped back to the bare bones. And we were just talking then before coming on again, where's the content? You know, we were mm. discussing Master League might not even arrive till February, March. I mean, yeah. how do you feel about that, Ricky? That's, you know, it, I don't know. It's yeah, crazy. It's... Yeah, that's um, yeah. Like you said, they they obviously went a different route. They've um, they've changed them. That's the thing. You can't uh, look. I've I've never had anything against Konami. Obviously, we've done a lot with Pez Universe and stuff. But it, it's just got to the point now. We've just been fed the same old tripe. And uh, how many times do you keep believing it? You know, to keep like last year's trailer, no way near what we got last week. I mean, you know. It's it's some worlds of the stuff. Apart, I mean, I'm like, oh, absolute worlds apart. I mean, like having PK in there. I, I put a thing out today on F about FIFA going free to play, whatever. And then I went through the trailer, and you know, PK was on there showing them like two seconds of him talking to him. Mm. The guy didn't even do his hair. I mean, it's like he literally got out of bed and just said, "I'm just going to go." <laughs> and they put that in there, and it's like this is this is 2021. You know, you can't put out trailers that look like you just can't be asked it's almost like konami said oh shit if we don't get this out now we're going to be screwed so let's just quickly whack together a six minute trailer mm. i don't know about you guys i was more confused with it when they'd finished it than i was actually before they did it because this whole autumn fall <laughs> coming then you got winter yeah. what are we oh, playing here like joke. yeah i, I don't understand that cross play and, and cross gen three times mm. i was like what you actually feeding us here it didn't didn't say anything i mean yeah. how long was the trailer as well six and a half minutes six seven minutes, minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Like what minutes. did what did it say what did it say it, i don't even know what it said mm. it was like i say it didn't evoke any emotion you mentioned last year's trailer with messi and it was great that you know you really got involved with it and you was excited but this didn't create any excitement for mm. me whatsoever and i know it is a trailer it, the trailers are trailers, do you know what I mean? You, you never right. get the essence of gameplay, etc. That that comes at the demo beta stage, but I don't know. It was it was totally disappointing, mm. <laughs> fully underwhelming, you know, because that eighteen months, almost two years, and and we give them a buy, we give them a pass. Twelve mm. months ago, when they did the season update, in the hope that they were going to blow our socks off at this point, and they've far from done that for me. Yeah, I mean it's it, it's a tough one because like we were we've all talked we've all like kind of said our bit about everything, but it's like as the weeks go on, I think it's just like it's harder to understand like why they released the trailer the way they did. Like I can understand as you guys said there, they probably as Ricky said, I agree. They probably just wanted to get something out and say right, we have a rough roadmap ourselves of a month before games come, games come, and then release it a game in you know a kind of a a staggered release so obviously it's going to release like what is it nine teams at launch or something they're saying and then you know at the yeah. end of autumn or whatever terminology they're I mean, using that's, in the that's embarrassing yeah it? it's, it's like a glorified demo yeah. nine teams mm. <laughs> i mean come on you know it's there, like they can be <laughs> there's your master league content <laughs> yeah, yeah we do one season eight games eight games done unbelievable <laughs> Yeah, but like I think, yeah, I do think that it's 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 hard to understand because we always we always talk about like I'm generally more kind of like glass half full type of guy for the last couple of years, and Wes always comes Me in too. and is like fucking like you know he's kind of glass half empty because he's obviously playing a lot of FIFA now and he sees yeah. what else is out there, and it's like I think the time has come for. I, actually on a, on a point i've been i've been very like proud of the community of everyone that has come together there's been no abuse there's been no you know like slander anything mm. it's literally just people saying listen this isn't good enough you know what i mean it's as simple as that like it's not about you know liking konami or liking the games or you know whatever i mean it's not impersonal if something isn't good enough no. it's not good enough you know what i mean it's as simple as that and i think they need to understand that that the trailer you know I mean, you guys would have probably like edited a better trailer than that. Not no disrespect to anyone that worked in that trailer. I'm not trying to shit on anybody, but like, you it know, did feel very amateur. Yeah, it felt very amateur. Either. It felt like they didn't really know what they wanted to do. And usually, when you're showcasing content or something, you want to put it in your best light. You know what I mean? You don't want putting out something that's not. And with that, it was just like, yeah. fuck it. Let's just hit our quota or hit our you know deadline. 
get it out and move on to the next thing which when we hadn't seen any content or footage from the last teaser trailer of Messi, which looked amazing we were like left like you know dumbfounded so yeah it's it's, it's hard to it's hard to understand apart. it you know what i mean it's hard to understand what they're doing i think the only the only thing i want to ask you guys as well is that like and i've asked this to a couple of people like it what what's making what's making pez not be dead on arrival for you guys like because i know you probably will try it obviously it's going to be free to play like you are going to try it oh. obviously yeah, yeah. That, that's the reason it's still alive yeah if this was a 60 quid, quid game like would you it. be would you be is the free to play the only thing that's kind of saying yeah well that's why i'll give it a go or yeah. it, that, yeah. that's basically yeah. the it. intrigue will take yeah. over when it's free yeah but from from what we've seen in that trailer and then let's skip back a couple of weeks to the new football game the online mm. stress test. test yeah with what we've been served up so far if the game wasn't free and was a value 50 60 quid i wouldn't be pre-ordering it mm. based on what i've seen and what i've played mm. so the fact that it is free to play we'd be foolish not to have a look yeah but that's probably the i wouldn't, I wouldn't be investing money into the game from what i've seen because they've not sold it to me they've not sold me anything new mm. in fact i think it's a, re a regression yeah. a devolution do you know what i mean that's mm. how it feels um i don't know what your guys well yeah yeah remember, we, remember yeah, that when they lost all the features i mean it's yeah yeah uh, yeah, it, it, it like I say, it just feels like they stripped it back to a mobile version. Because when I when I got it in my hand and I played that mm. new football game, it felt like the mobile version. Because I played a lot of it this year, believe mm. it or not, yeah, on mobile, yeah. and it's purely yeah. to chase those e football points. You know, <laughs> that'll have increased the downloads anyway. But um, you're to blame, really. So bro. from playing that and then going to the console version that they served up, I was like, oh my god, this they've stripped back the controls mm. and it feels like a mobile, mobile it, ish, yeah. it, it, it's not felt next gen at any point playing it and what we've seen from the trailer so them are my major concerns and we're just gonna have to see what they deliver but it's very concerning on the whole and mm. like I say ricky it's gonna have to find a new hobby i think mate because <laughs> if we're not getting if we're not getting master league until february march I, I, don't, I don't know what you're gonna do man unless you do go down this route of seeing what my club's about I don't think they're going to call it my club, are they? But no, and that not. as well, name to be confirmed. Yeah. yeah, you've had two years, and they've all been sat around a table, and you couldn't come, come up with a few game mode names. E club, I mean, e club on, instead man. of my club, probably. I you're a billion dollar company acting like a startup. It's just, I, I just don't get it. It, it, it dumbfounds me at times, and mm. it's never more so over this last few weeks. And I don't know, I don't know where we're going to go from here, chaps. I really don't. But Ricky, like we were saying there, right? Like, let's go down the other route here of the glass half full, right? Like, do you think, because obviously there is some people, you know, that I've interacted with and stuff that, you know, they still believe that Konami will get this right. They believe that the footage that was released wasn't representative of, you know, how the game is going to look, say, on a PS5 or, you know, a high power PC. And like, we've obviously been dealing with this for years where it's like, you know, you have your expectations, mm -hmm. then you have a demo or a beta, which is usually very good. And then the final game comes out and it takes a couple of patches. But like Ricky, for you, right? Like, is there any, like, is there any way, we've obviously seen the leaks. I saw your video the other day on like, where you covered a lot of rumors and a lot of stuff that's been floating around that hasn't really been confirmed, obviously, but like. Just to stir the pot. Yeah, I mean, like, do you? I gotta like, stay relevant. Yeah, no, but I'm saying like, <laughs> like it's out there. I mean, if it's out there, it's it's going to be talked about. I'm just saying that, like, yeah, exactly, yeah. for you, like, do you think, do you think that there's like any truth in, like, do you think that there's truth in that? That it's like the next gen game is going to be, it is going to be the step up we haven't seen yet. That they're waiting to showcase that, and that everything we've seen so far hasn't been representative of what we're going to see come launch. Or do you think that it's like what what are your opinions on that like on because i know you did the video on it but what are your opinions on mm -hmm. that well i my major concern is the fact that this is going to be how can you and everyone said it but how can you have next gen against a mobile and i know you can they're saying well this mm. guy if it's the rumors true where you can pick who you want to play against which i hope that's true i yeah. mean there's no way you're being forced to play mobile. against the mobile yeah. but how can you even i don't know yeah i'm not a programmer i don't know how it works mm. and the unreal engine obviously has its capabilities but how can you have a mobile against 
a PS5 and still have a next gen experience, even if you're not playing the mobile oh. person. Yeah. Because you know, even PS, you've still got to design, develop, animate, do all the things. If this was not mobile cross play, I wouldn't have major concerns. But yeah. I think a lot of people, I don't care about the free to play. That's fine. They've already done this before with yeah. you know the My Club Light. It's the mobile that they. They didn't ask anyone. No one asked for this. I know Seppo's mentioned this in the last one podcast and Weza, and we're just being forced to do things now that we don't want to do. I, mm. I've always loved Pez. I've tried playing FIFA. You know, you can use sliders and the gameplay's decent, but it's not Pez. You know, and now, like uh, Vern said, when we're going to be forced to play FIFA because I can't put Mars League out till next year, and we still don't know what we're going to get. Mm. So... Yeah, and that's my biggest thing. I, I don't see how they can do next gen on this with mobile still in the works. Mm. Get rid of mobile and then we can talk. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, FIFA coming out with this I'd, I'd even tech. admit PC from that. Mm. I really would. It, on that roadmap, oh, yeah. when I saw cross gen, you know, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, whatever, I was on board with that. Mm. And then as my eyes drifted across and we started seeing cross-platform <laughs> and we saw Steam, Android, iOS, yeah. I was just like, oh, my God. They, this is a company who haven't even got the infrastructure right on one platform mm. in yeah, terms of true. connection quality, et cetera. And now they've yeah. got the balls to say, we're going to nail it across yeah. five. I'm like, yeah. really? Yeah, it's very brave. Really? Right. It's just like, come on, man, are you trying to kid? I think they are kidding themselves at this stage. They must yeah. be. It's, it's, it's just a, cra it's a crazy that, that's one. That's the biggest for me as well, Ricky. Yeah. Because I'm not bothered yeah, about that, free to true. play. You know, we'll all, we've all put our little bit of money in. We all will. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's free to play. Cool. That's, that's a nice aspect of it. Mm. It's one of the redeeming features. But as you just said, the, the cross platform stuff, it, it, as soon as I saw mobile, it, my, my heart sank. I was like, what is going on here? Yeah. What have you done? Yeah. Because it is going but, to be interesting, as you guys have said, like how it's going to work on, like, they have to come out and explain that you know what i mean they have to come out and say well listen if you've got a ps5 and you're after paying five six hundred quid for a next gen console and you come out and you're going to be playing against a guy in an iphone like number one there has to be filters that you don't ever have to do that if i have to wait 20 minutes to play somebody on ps5 fair enough that's my choice mm. um instead of forcing it down you or whatever like that i think they probably will have filters like that but as you guys said, I don't know how they're going to scale it up. Again, I don't know enough about it. Um, I've talked to a guy that's like in that line of work, and he said that Fortnite is probably the best example that it's, you know, it's graphically, it's kind of like reduced, and obviously all that, like the fidelity and all that is reduced, and, you know, the draw distance and all that sort of Ooh. stuff. But the actual core gameplay is pretty much the same across devices. I don't know, or is that going to work for a football game? Like, you know what I mean? I don't know how you're going to get like is it going to be a separate game that's my thought is it going to be a separate game of the ps5 if you've got next gen features like what fifa are doing do you know what i mean like fifa are having the hyper motion for next gen mm -hmm. but then that interview came out where they said that the motion mapping thing or the the stuff that they're going to use and konami using for eFootball is going to be across all platforms so i don't know like it's it's there's so many questions like that i just don't Classic know konami yeah I don't know how they're going to they do it. Like, I don't know how they're going to do it. Answers. And like, I'd love to be proven wrong, but yeah, mobile, look, great. If you can go into my club, whatever they end up calling it, and go into options and turn off mobile crossplay straight off the bat, and you never play a mobile guy, and it works, fair enough. Then let the mobile guys in on the action. They can do what they're doing, enjoy their, you know, loads of people like to play on mobile. That's fair enough. Like, yeah. you know, that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. But I just don't know how they're going to do it. Like, I don't know enough about kind of development or whatever to, to kind of figure out how they're going to do all the animations, the celebrations. Like, I just don't know how they're going to do it. Like, I'm at a loss for that. They can do it if they've placed it as a mobile first. Yeah, well, that's... Okay. Well, yeah, I do believe that. Yeah. I, I think they're going to... It's the other way around, do you know what I mean? Mm. I really do believe it's a mobile first game and they're stripping it back for the next-gen consoles, which mm. is just crazy. There's actually people out there, Pez Hardcore fans, you don't play any of the games. All they play is Pez, and they've bought a next-gen console. Yeah, I know, sure, I know. And then, and then this news drops. You, you must be absolutely gutted. Yeah, it would be. You know, but well, that's the thing. Like, I've got a Nokia thirty-three ten or something. <laughs> <instead>. <laughs> that's the thing. Like, it's going to be so difficult. Now, I know, obviously, 
we you do have to play with a controller so i don't think it's going to be like you know touch screen on the on the i think there'll probably be have to be a fairly high spec mobile phone to play but again like that's just scratching for positives out of something that's yeah. you know what i mean like mm. i understand now you know somebody was saying to me the other day that like there's mobiles out at the moment that are graphically better than ps4s and stuff you know what i mean and that's you know on tablets and stuff fair enough but as you said screens Mark, like that though isn't it yeah if the core experience it's easy when is it, big yeah. for mobile it looks better when it's in a phone this big i mean yeah <laughs> Play, play on a 60, 60 inch 4K. You know what yeah, I mean? It's, oh man, it's a difficult. My biggest one. concern least... though is also the controls. Like, you know, if, if if that online stability test was anything to go by, and they removed a bunch of the controls, mm. and I keep hearing people on mobile, I don't play mobile. Oh, you can do second player runs on mobile. Yeah. How? Yeah. What you flick your finger? I know Verm was having a was yeah. Were you having a, an argument with someone on yeah. Twitter about that? And it's yeah, like yeah. Can do it's it not the same yeah. shit. It's... That's how you do a lob pass, by the way. You just yeah. rotate your just finger over your... the screen. That like, nice lofted pass. Yeah, yeah whatever. Beautiful. I, I, I think they probably will dumb down the controls just to make it yeah. more user friendly yeah. for mobile. Well, I mm. don't want it. Give me what yeah. I'm used to. I, I'm fine I mean, with the R2, but yeah. that's fine. Look at that. We've got a fantastic next gen controller. Oh, I love that controller. Yeah. Feedback. I mean, are they going to implement that? Are we going to get any responses from this controller? We're not, are we? Because mm. it's dumbed down for the mobile devices. It's yeah. it's so frustrating. So what if frustrating. what if what if you what if you're what if you guys are wrong, right? What if what if I, they have actually had plans for next gen? I said this to Wes as well. What if they come out and they've got fucking you know really good haptic feedback, like really cool next gen features that is like. Why didn't she fucking tell us this, like, with the first announcement? Like, what if they're just waiting till Gamescom? Like, will you guys, like, would that pull you back in straight away? Or would it just be kind of still, you know, because if that happens, there's going to be a lot of people with egg on their faces that have written this game off. I'll, I'll sit here with it dripping off your face. That's fine. I'll accept yeah. that. But what, what, all I can say then, throw that back at you, what have Konami done in recent years? That's true, yeah. That it is would true. give you that hope and anticipation yeah. because they failed to deliver. Like exactly. you said it before, Barry, the best version of the game is usually the demo mm. beta phase. Mm. And then when we get the real patch package, it just doesn't quite feel the same. Yeah. Where at the moment, we've got a really shit phase. I can only see it getting shit. Mm. I, I, can't, I can't see where it's going to get better because it never does. It gets worse. So mm. on full release, I just... I can't, I can't get my hopes up at this stage whatsoever. Yeah. With, no, it's a, like it's a said, with what we've seen and what we've played, I cannot. I just, I mean, my, what are my positives? I wrote a little list, as, you, as you'd seen on socials, <laughs> but free to play, cross gen, and managing my club from the toilet at work. So I get, I get paid <laughs> to play. Yeah, man. Do you know what I mean? But That's other than that, I've got a list of negatives that's as long as my arm, and I, I'm like, you, I, I glass half full usually. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But I can't, I can't, I can't get that vibe at the moment out of my head. It's just full of negativity, and mm. I, I can. But but let's let's understand why they have done this. Yeah, they've 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 took this approach because it's going to make them a shit ton of money. Yeah, it's going Mobile to be massively already successful does. financially, no matter what. Of course, what, it is. Anyway. I, I think I said it the other day. It, It'll be the highest gross in Pez game or mm. eFootball. I can't, I can't say eFootball. It's just Pez, isn't it? But it will be the highest gross in game ever this time next year. I'm yeah. sure it will be. Yeah, the no, the will. figures will be phenomenal. It yeah. really will. Um, Do you, like, but will we, we get to, the game we all desire? When we go back to last year, Ricky, right? And we obviously had the, the season update, which I think a lot of people... A lot of people were waiting to see, right, okay, what that was going to be like. Even though everyone knew what it was going to be like still people were thinking they're going to add something new they're going to add whatever and like i kind of thought yeah. konami were like were very good to come out last year and literally just tell it to us straight between the eyes this is what the game is this year it's basically this updated this updated and that's it they didn't like mix their messages or anything like do you think looking back now last year as me, you know, as Vern was saying at the start, and with the success of mobile, the success of the club editions and all that, like, do you think that that was a huge signal of intent of where the community is now gone with Pez? That there was guys buying, you know, four or five editions of the game just to get my club, obviously, which, look, I, you know, there's no issue with that. I mean, I bought, like, I got two, I think, because I wanted, obviously, Ronaldo Messi, but, like, do you think that that added to the decision that they made this year? 
and that's probably a controversial topic because there will be people out there that have bought five and i'm not blaming those guys for what we've got now but i'm just asking you do you think like what are your opinions on that do you think that that fit into what we've got now um I mean, not necessarily. I, I honestly just think, can I, look, I think over the last year, something, something like went wrong. I don't know. I, all I've seen at Konami is like people leaving. Mm. There's a lot of people that have left like the, the, the Pez team. And it's like something is going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. I feel like they've changed the direction completely mm. from what they, you know, when Verm listed off those, the points at the beginning of, the, of this podcast was, you know, all that stuff is gone. It's like they've gone this completely different direction and now they've just all this money that they're going to make out of it what are they going to do with it are they investing mm -hmm. this money back into the game i can't see it happening because it's such a dumbed down you know my club is i can't play my club because it's it's there's nothing to do for me i yeah, feel like there's no content you, you finish it yeah, yeah i like to do season modes master leagues because it's just i can just play it play against the computer i try and win trophies but there's not enough content so I really don't know. I just think something happened and they decided to go a different route. They saw how much money they're going to make from, from mobile gaming and now they've decided to try and intertwine all of these different you know, um, platforms with a track record which has not been proven. I mean, yeah. they, every single release they've put out, you know, the Fox engine came out. Let's be honest. It, it lost a lot of features. And now they're saying that edit mode's basically the same. Like Master League's probably going to be like a rehash. And what are they doing? How, do we know how big Konami's headquarters is? Mm. Is it as big as this, this room here? <laughs> it seems like it's so small. That they, I'm just getting sick of it because you see EA coming out every year with new features and if, if they're evolving, they're getting billions and billions and billions from, from foot. And what are Konami doing? Mm. Uh, EA it's got to the point, to I want another game. The back into the game, don't we? Yeah, I'm, they I'm do. with you right they, there. They do. They put the money back into the game. And Konami just seem like they don't know what direction. And now they're going for this direction. Mm. I, I, I mm. hope they prove me wrong. I really do. I hope they come yeah. out with something that absolutely blows me away. And I will, I'll stand outside butt naked doing a video <laughs> vlogging, proving <laughs> that, uh, yep, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. guys were right. But I, I can't see it happening. So, and I kind of went off track there. But yeah, that's just kind of what's, what's that's been rattling cool. my I head. Do. I do think there is some accountability, though. And I mm. think we're all... Who, whoever put money into my club, whether it were a 79p or 7,900 quid, whatever value, denomination you put in, I think there is some accountability mm. because I think we've all accepted mediocrity. Mm. Because we got a season update. They chucked loads of new featured players, iconic moments, etc., And we bought into that on a mm. game that, predominantly hadn't changed yeah so i do think there's some accountability on everyone because we have we've just gone do you know what this game isn't that great but we're mm. so addicted to trying to get our legend that we want yeah. do you know what i mean it's yeah it is a, there's yeah. something but, in it i think i do believe there's something in it and they've seen the amount of money that can be made from yeah. it wow we, we did a season update we, we barely did anything mm. guys and look at the coin we've earned this yeah. year it makes you know, sense the, the figures will be in their favor you know? It, 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 I've said it a lot over the last few weeks, but it feels like minimum input, maximum profit. Yeah. But then Not again, me. I think as well, and it's another, it's another side of the kind that we don't, it's, I, I find it hard for us to discuss it because we're such like, not, I wouldn't even call us like diehard Pez fans, but we are diehard Pez fans because like we're ingrained in the community. Like we're spending our fucking night here talking about Pez. Do you know what I mean? Like the average person that's playing Pez wouldn't, do that you know what i mean they just play pez the same way as we play different games casually you know what i mean like you make content like we produce content like we are invested into pez so it's kind of harder for us to understand that there is like the pez scene has changed massively i think since my club like the amount of casual people playing pez nowadays like outweighs us by like 100 to 1 i'd say or 1000 to 1 even like it's just a, a, like a never-ending conveyor belt of new guys trying Pez. You know what I mean? And that's that, the like we have to Pez be. Light. Yeah, we have to be. We have to be. You know, I mean, Konami aren't going to make like we don't deserve the game to be made for us just because we played the game for fifteen years. Do you know what I mean? Like that's kind of I think a lot of people like find that hard to accept, but at the same time, 
I think that there's a way to respect your your you know, your real fa- like the fans that have been there through thick and thin, and then have the new guys coming in all along that we can all get on together because. I just think the Pez scene has changed so much and the the people that are playing Pez now, especially Pez Mobile, like there's like hundreds of millions of people playing Pez Mobile. Like it, it like when you think about it, Vern, if you go on and you're searching for a game in, in Pez and like you could be waiting 20 minutes, it's like there's a hundred million people playing on mobile. So go figure where you know where people are are going to Oh yeah, to go I got a game really quick it, you know? on mobile. Yeah. That wasn't an issue. Yeah. But the gameplay is not the same though is it no not on mobile no it's not the same it's it's a mobile game you want something quick arcadey far you can't have a simulation football on a mobile it wouldn't work Mm. that's why it's like i don't play pez on mobile because it's i want to play on a tv i want to play a proper game of football it's yeah i don't know how you're going to put a simulation because pez has always been more about simulation so how are you going to put that on a phone i keep saying the same thing but that's my Main thing is like, I don't know. My club, I think my club has ushered in like a, a new Pez player. You know what I mean? Like it has ushered in a new yeah. Pez player that like if you put 20 quid into FIFA, like you probably won't get anybody. Whereas if you put 20 quid into Pez, you probably have four or five iconic moments or three or four feature players that are like 95 overall. Do you know? So I think that the actual Pez community has changed a lot. And like us older guys are like, you know, this isn't Pez, like this, you know, this, this isn't what Pez is about. And it's like, well, it has been what Pez has been about since 2015, 16. You know, I just think it's kind of crept, this has crept up on us. Whereas like in hindsight, it's easy for us to see. Yeah, yeah, we could see this was coming. Look at the success of mobile and my club and the season updates and the club editions and all this. Like I seen the other day on Twitter, like I think when they announced Haaland, I think as the, you know, one of the players of the week. And like the amount of people in the in the replies that were saying like, oh, you know, this is we don't want this. We want Pez 22 news or whatever. But then they were massively outnumbered by guys saying, yeah, give us free Rashford. Give us free Sancho. Give us free. Ha-. Do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. there is two sides of the coin. And obviously it is harder for us to discuss that because we're not casual gamers. But mm-hmm. I don't know. Like I'm at a loss as to see why like that has to be a big issue because them casual gamers will always be there you know the same way as yeah. we'll play warzone or whatever game is popular at the moment like among, among or what's that game fallout guys or whatever that's called you know all those all those games oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but casual gamers still buy consoles mm-hmm. and want a next-gen experience yeah, do you know what i mean it's, well. it's not ne- it's not necessarily a point that we've you know supported the title for 15 years and more whatever 25 years in total mm. but i don't see why that should be the at the expense of that experience i yeah. just it's it's the re- it's the path they've took it's not what they want to do it's just that path of putting mobile first over a next gen experience that has killed the whole anticipation mm. like I say i'm saying the same things but it's the one that's rattled me the most cuz yeah i don't some of the things are quite good, what they've proposed. There, there are some positives in mm. it, but it's that overarching factor of the mobile first, giving us a mobile experience on a next-gen console. And I just, I just really don't understand it. I still yeah. don't understand it. I'm trying to get my head around it. I mean, when, when we propose some new information, is it August? Yeah, the end Gamescom, of August? I think they were saying Gamescom, isn't it? Yeah. yeah so so just we're all just going to have to stew on it and surmise... You know, there's the eternal optimists out there, probably a little bit of blind faith as well. But like like we said earlier, just uh, Konami have done nothing in recent years to give me give me any of that faith mm. and hope that they will deliver when the game is released. Yeah. And when yeah, it is like, released, I think, I think everyone just has to be up. honest with themselves. Like, that, you know, the trailer wasn't good enough. And what's come out so far as of, like, time of recording this, like, I can see that you guys are just, like, completely de- dejected like it is it is is hard to even talk like about it and like get different topics and stuff because i think it always does come back to no matter what we talk about tonight it's always going to come back to like i'm just so like frustrated that you know next gen isn't going to be as of what we know now like like you know we don't know at the moment but as of right now now the the focus seems to be mobile and then everything else free to play and stuff without doubt that's kind of what it always comes back to whereas like i just find it i just find it like this can't be it you know what i mean that's that's where i'm coming from and again it's the hope that kills you but it's like this surely can't be it you know what i mean this what about if it is it 
Well, if it is it, I mean, it is it. you're summing it up perfectly there. I mean, it's it's not dead on arrival for me, obviously. I'll still give it a go, but like, you know, if it's to go on the beta gameplay, I mean, I said at the time, if that yeah. beta gameplay was to come out and be in the shops for sale, like, it would be dead on arrival, really. You know what I mean? So, like, I mean, I know you enjoyed it, Ricky, but... Uh, <sighs> I thought the dribbling was actually quite good. Yeah, there fair. was some like, nice the dribbling stuff in had it. a bit of freedom. Yeah, but, like everything else was. It was like this is a really odd mix of of what they're trying to do here. And um, I was going to say something now, and I've forgotten. Can't remember. And the, yeah, I've done. What I was going to say. I was going to say something about. I was going to say something about Konami focus on the wrong things. Like, one thing that I was actually thinking about the other day was like, if you look at FIFA, when was the last time they changed like the menus? Mm-hmm. It's been years. It's been yeah. donkey's years. They found a system that worked, and they stuck with it. Mm. And Konami, every single year, seemed to want to put a new menu, stuff that isn't... Just find a nice modern design, leave it, and now go and work on something that, that actually is worth working on. Stop. It seems like they invest their time on things that we don't care about, mm. and then, then they get upset when we don't like it. It's like, well... It, and also, weren't Konami meant to be like listening to feedback? Whatever happened to that? Mm. It doesn't seem like they listen to anyone. They've happen. kind of just said, no. let's do our own thing. You know? So I think they've just they've decided that they can't compete with FIFA now. So this is it. I think my, my another a big concern of mine is there's not going to be an eFootball 22, right? Or a 23. This is it. It's called eFootball. Mm. And then they're just going to update it with yeah. patches. Like Fortnite. What, forever? Yeah, seemingly. And how can you have another? How can you have a proper next gen still? Mm. That, that's another thing. How does that work? I don't mm. know. We need to get a developer in it, Barry. Yeah, man. Someone in here who knows about the Unreal yeah. Engine. Well, the guy, like <laughs> the guy I talked to, he 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 works like uh, you know he works on games and stuff, and he said that it is possible to do what they're talking about. Like it is, a, it's not impossible, you know, um, with the scaling and stuff of how they're able to scale. Like the same way as if you buy a game and you're able to run it on max settings on your PC. But the question is, is like, you know, how are they going? Like, I, I can't see how they're going to optimize it perfectly when you're including mobile. That's the biggest thing for me, as, as you guys have said, is that like, if I'm playing the game, like if I'm playing Warzone on my PS4, like not only is the PS4 nearly going to take off because it's fucking running so hot, but it's 30 frames per second. You don't have a high res pack that you can download. There's a high resolution graphics pack you can download for the PS5 and stuff. So then on the PS5, you're playing at 120 frames per second. You're playing at like, you know, you can have all the high res packs that, all that are able for download. And the game looks phenomenal, moves way better. It's still the base game. You know, if we were playing each other, I wouldn't have an advantage gameplay wise. But I just don't know how they're going to do that when you're incorporating mobile into it. That's, as you said, from a core perspective of the gameplay, the actual controls, as you said, Ricky, like you know dumbing down the gameplay from what we've seen so far like yeah. i don't know you know what i mean i mean there's buttons in the controller for reason for a reason you know to use them you don't need to take them away there's more control we should be getting now at next gen and all that sort of stuff you know so i don't know yeah. it's difficult to know but that photo realistic oh. article i mean what happened with that one yeah <laughs> photo realistic graphics on a mobile i mean that's a first but, uh, you know, that's, that's what I mean. It's like, it's like they don't know what they're doing. And I don't know. I, th- I guess we shouldn't be surprised, but we are surprised. So mm. it's like, yeah. we're used to it to that. a point. I think the but regardless of the surprise, graphical though, aspect, yeah. how's it gonna, yeah. how are you going to... Right, I'm hardwired here. Full, super fast fiber. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then little Jimmy in the middle of Bangladesh. He's on his <laughs> 3G network. <laughs> How's that going to work? Yeah, how, how, what kind of online experience are we going to get from that? Well, if we have dedicated we servers, we that'll, be, that'll, be, that'll be the answer to that one, I suppose, in a, some way. You know, that's oh. what the rumors are. Dedicated servers. This will be in the pudding, won't it? Is, yeah. it, is, that, is that just a rumor at the moment? It's not well, I mean, it's probably... It's probably, it, it's probably they, they it has to. to be, though, yeah, they have to. They I have reckon to. If, it's, yeah. if it's... I mean, I can't see any other way that you'd be... There have to be some sort of infrastructure there that would be Fortnite all on that on dedicated. Yeah, yeah. As far as I know. Okay. Yeah, like it's. I think it's a mix. There's some way to do it or something. Yeah, but it is. Yeah, it would be all dedicated. I would reckon. But that, like, again, like well, as that, that, that's that's a positive. Yeah, that's, that's a positive, positive as well. Because I, I, like, I, I was saying there to I don't know who I was saying it to one of the lads the other day that like I think you know if we're to talk about Pez Twenty One for a minute I know you've played a lot of Burn Online 
um, yeah, well, I'm still here playing it now. There yeah, must be like, something in it. I think online stability it actually was... looks a really good game now. Yeah, yeah. Going it's, back. The last pack was good. Game. The data pack was good, wasn't it? Yeah. But like A- after playing the uh, oh after the version as well, <laughs> but like online, like stability wise, it's actually okay. Do you know what I mean? Like I, my personal experience, I haven't had many like lag cheats or. Like people quitting. If people no. quit, I get the win. I, I so, haven't had a lag cheat all season. So yeah, honest. I haven't had a lag cheat. So I think like online cheat. stability. Like, I, I mean, the the one thing I'm kind of putting my hopes on, I think, is is content. And I'm thinking to myself, well, right, okay, let's just say eFootball on the PS5 is a six out of ten game, right? Let's just say the core gameplay is six out of ten. You know, it's just above average. The content is going to be what ties us over then. Do you know, not only are you going to have to keep somebody like you, Vern, happy with content, yeah. we're also going to have to try and get, you're going to also have to try and get somebody like Ricky who doesn't play online and doesn't like my club and rages every time he plays to the amusement of me when I'm watching him. But like, you're going to have to bring him on board to say, fuck, this is actually quite cool. I don't care if I win, lose or draw here. I'm actually having a bit of crack building something that's not just, you know, win or lose and it's like full blue like there's a very toxic nature to how people play online now because there's nothing else to play for it's literally win or go like or, or go with not yeah. you know what i mean everyone's so, just playing for rating exactly it doesn't yeah mean anything yeah in the grand scheme of things there's nothing you know, you've there. got like bought nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine rating points no acknowledgement whatsoever yeah you know what i mean yeah there's there is nothing to play for apart from that but um i'm just having a quick look at that roadmap now um and has there been any clarification on to what the match pass system is? Have we, have we had any further details? The match on pass, it? it looks to like me, some kind of reward system. Yeah, it's going to be like a battle pass in Fortnite, I assume. So it'll be like Rabble, once a month okay. or maybe every six weeks where you'll have objectives and stuff to clear, you know? Maybe players, okay. stuff well, like that. I don't know, but that's, that's what it reads like to me. Positive then. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just match pass system on the yeah. roadmap. It's not giving any extra details. You've, this is the thing with Conan, isn't yeah. it? They just leave everything open for discussion and never really clarify anything. Mm. Hence why we, we end up here and just thinking what the hell is going on. Mm. But like I, I was saying as well, um, right, right? Even if you're talking about content, right? Let's just say that within the next six months, they add some sort of transfer system to my club or whatever they end up calling my club. Like... Would that be enough self-driven content that you could make from that bird that would like entice you in to well, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that opens it up, doesn't it? Definitely opens it up. There's there's things to do, like you say, that the match pass system, some potential transfer market. Yeah, it's it's, it's layers, isn't it? There's mm. something to do without just pumping money in constantly. Um, because that, that's what it is. That's that's all they've served up over the last 12 months. Coin tent, and we've we've had nothing to do otherwise. Um, but and content is a biggie. They, they need to implement something that gives us something to do. You know, Ricky mm. touched on that. There's, there's just nothing to do, is there really? No. Apart from play games and try and win. Mm. What, what, I'd like, probably play online more if they, if they add more content. Yeah. Is that the only thing that's kind of stopping you from playing, Ricky? Is that there's literally, you can't even, you know, you can't even make your own content or anything or make up a story like you can do a Master League. You know, you can put no, there's no personality right. in my club, really, I don't think. No, no. I mean, not when you compare it to mm. EA and FIFA, what they produce. Um, but it's also the fact that like, I felt, I honestly fell more in love with Pez this year doing Master League playing on manual. Yeah. Like, playing on, playing on manual for me, I cannot play on assist anymore. I can't yeah. do it. I, I tried playing the other day. It felt weird. Mm. So I would love to have an online only, like a manual section. Like, play. Why can't they do You, you can't find anyone with no assist. Yeah, yeah, there's an option to turn it off. Pointless. You're not finding anyone. Mm. So. Yeah, if they added something like that, which would enable me to play more online. Um, but yeah, that's primarily, yeah, it's just not enough. Con- I do prefer playing the computer. Like I, said, I just like my own kind of story. And yeah, I don't know. I got obsessed with PC and mods. And I think I got, you know, to um, the word. Yeah, there you go. Spoiled <laughs> from it. So, you know, it, it, when you do it, the, experience. Yeah, it's the a game is game phenomenal. Though. I mean, it really is when, yeah, when you. It put mods on it it's unbelievable but mm. you can't obviously do that online so yeah i don't know there is a lot of shady people out there to play against i don't like that i mean if i played against my own kind of subscribers or you guys i know it'd be a respectable game but no i'd play you know, like it a doesn't it, against you I you play like a thing, you know? 
No, but that doesn't system, matter anyway, because you could play FIFA and it's the same. People play however they want to play, so... Yeah. You know, yeah, it's... because, like, that's that's what I think has been the one thing I've I've kind of stuck my hat on, is that, like, like any of my friends, like, outside of Pez, like, just, like, in real life, that are, like, oh, Pez is going free to play. You know, a couple of them have seen it, and they're like, oh, Pez, go Pez is going free to play, or eFootball is going free to play. Like, you know, can I play you on my Xbox or, you know, can we join up now playing on your Xbox versus like PS5 or whatever? And it's like, yeah, I mean, that's a positive. But I think for them, as I, as I said, like very, very casual guys, literally playing the PS5 maybe three or four hours a week. That would be it, like on a weekend. Like what they're interested in is to see like what they could actually do within the game. And I think when they come across from having played FIFA... You need to have nearly everything that's in FIFA. Without copying FIFA, you need to have a database like that you can actually search stuff in. You need to have a transfer market mm -hmm. that if one of Ricky's subscribers is like, oh, fuck, I'd love to see you play with, you know, um, I don't know, like Peter Crouch or someone like similar that's not playing anymore or whatever. But anyway, somebody like that, like a bit of a cult hero, it's like Ricky can go in and just buy him. He doesn't have to go wait like 24 hours to go through the scout system, you know? Stuff like that. Yeah. I've I just never think, used the scout system. Though. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know how it works. Tedious. <laughs> tedious. Yeah, it is tedious. It's just time consuming and it's just something that hasn't been taught out. You know what I mean? That's the biggest thing. It's just... And that's what I think is that like... I think if they added a transfer market, it would like re kind of like vitalize the online space because like Vern, even the, the stuff you could do live streams, you know, even if it was by yourself or against your, you know, viewers or even against other content creators where you could actually be like, right, we have a budget here. We set ourselves a budget, go in, we have an hour to build our team and then we play five best of five, you know, stuff like that that you could drive yeah. on yourself. No, of course. Yeah. And to be honest, when you dip on dipping on FIFA streamers, that, that that's the it's majority of their content yeah. sometimes they're not Link even slips. playing games yeah, they're just yeah. literally going through the through the market you know yeah. run the foot markets you know it, yeah. it's, it's a massive massive area but i think you're being a bit ambitious there barry <laughs> <laughs> i have to fucking hell man we can, it can't be three of us being fucking depression session here you know i'm I trying know, to give a bit of I fucking know. light here at the end of the tunnel but even I'm struggling. And going back to um, Ricky's point about the manual aspect, there's a massive community. Eleven yeah. versus eleven yeah. manual leagues. Yeah, it's like, yeah. well, what's going to happen to them? They're, they're going to be eternally disappointed mm. if there isn't anything where they can dip the toes in with that. You know, we don't even know whether team lobbies are going to still be there, etc. Mm. They, they created a foundation of co-op a few years back. They've done nothing with it. It's one yeah. of the best game modes. It's excellent. It's just I think nothing to do brilliant. again. Yeah. It's, it's one of my favourite things. Yeah. Football's a team sport. Having a crack with your mates, three versus three, brilliant. But there's just nothing to do on it. Mm. It's laziness. I think it's a, a lot of it. A lot of it, what I'm sensing at the moment, is just laziness. They just can't be asked. Yeah. Minimum input, maximum profit. It's going to be a strap line. I'm just going to use that everywhere. That's going to be the tagline, yeah. <laughs> it's on the t-shirt, yeah. We'll have to get Lazar yeah. saying that. He's usually fucking playing his believing. <laughs> But we'll have to get him saying that. Oh, um, I love Lazza. Yeah. Lazar. Ever the optimist, Lazza, you know. He's young. He's young. Oh, yeah. It, he'll be playing. Yeah. He'll be playing regardless. Yeah. I think, he'll to be, be honest with you, I think, a lot of people, I think a lot of people are going to play regardless of what they're saying because yeah. of the, you oh, know, the free to play. And that's not to be held against them either. I think, you yeah. know, try it. If you don't like it, come launch. I still think, I still think there's a couple of, there's a couple of, there's a couple of bits and pieces to come out that I just think will, I don't think it will quell the anger, but I think it'll it'll probably, you know, I think Gamescom is extremely important to get the message mm -hmm. out as to what exactly this game is and what the next gen features are going to be. Because if they don't, I think it's just going to be, you know, people are just going to associate this with free to play and what they saw with the beta, and you know, Messi looking like he was. That's exactly the beta. what I've that, done. Yeah, that's what the majority of casual gamers will look because at. Because we haven't been served anything yeah. else, though, have we? So yeah, which we've seen exactly nothing else. We can only we can like we can't come on and do a podcast here talking about hypotheticals. Like we have to discuss what's out there. Do you know what I mean? There's no point mm -hmm. us saying that. Oh yeah, it could be the best game ever. I mean, I hope so, but like we only have to go on what we have like here in front of us. We yeah. can't make up stuff, you know. So yeah. I mean, it the is like for me, it's just stemmed from that. Yeah, from what we've seen and and played. Yeah, what we have actually played. That's what I was going to say to you guys before. How many games did you last on the new football game? How how many games did you play? 
just out of interest. I think I played about twenty. Wow, about ten. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I actually Three. played. I played a good lap, but I was trying to match. Well, maybe up I played about six, but I tell you, I didn't have any lag or anything. Any of them. Yeah, no, the it was it was fine. No. It was flawless no. for me as well. No, it was the purpose experience. of it worked. Yeah, you know? but it was mm. also dumbed down. You know, well, let me ask you guys this: What would they have to show at get? Being realistic, what do you think they have to show at Gamescom to actually to make you know like our fans like ourselves actually believe that this is worthwhile? Like, what do they have to show a month from now? Wow. That's a great question. I'll let, let you answer, answer that first, first for him, then I'll copy your points. Go oh, charming. <laughs> do they have to show gameplay? Like, realistically, do oh, they yeah, have to show what the game is? Anyway. Without doubt. Yeah. Without doubt. Right. And do you know what? Yeah. I want to see it on a console first. Mm, I want to see it being yeah, played on exactly. the console. You know, I want it on the PS5, Xbox Series X, whatever. It, yeah, gameplay is essential. And then, then all of a sudden, you might start thinking differently. But right. that, number one, number one, that for me, gameplay, without mm. doubt. We have to see it. And, you know, no more trailers full on gameplay mm. i think they have to come out ricky and just like tell us exactly what is the difference between playing this on your 500 quid console yeah, and clever. playing it on your iphone do you know what i mean like i think that they have mm. to come out and really you know do a specific kind of like either breakdown video or do comparisons or will that happen i don't know but i think they need to really like differentiate between what you're going to be playing on your PS5 compared to what you're going to be playing on a mobile. Because, like, this could be, if you look at it from both sides, right, this could be an excellent mobile game for mobile gamers, right? This could be, like, the best PES mobile game ever for mobile gamers. But if that's the case, it's going to be a poor console PES. Do you know what I mean? Because, obviously, you wouldn't be able to match the, the performance on the, on the console. But if they come out and they were to say, like, look, this is what the game looks like on the PS5. Here's a stadium. This is what happens when you play on mobile and give like, you know, a breakdown of what stuff are. I think that would really make people stand up and say, okay, fuck, this actually has a bit of love put into next gen. You know, I think the, I think as you said there, Vern, one point that I made last week on the podcast as well was when Wes asked me, was it Wes asked me? I think it was Wes or it could have been Seth, but they, they were saying like, and he touched on it, Maybe this has been a thing where this wasn't the plan all along. You know, maybe this has changed in development as they've seen the success and stuff. And I said that if we don't have haptic feedback in the pad and stuff like that is here in next gen, I think we'll know very quickly that this was just kind of a reactionary yeah. development. Whereas if they come out and they actually, if they have features and they have content or they have stuff that is taking the next gen technology into account, then I think they would get the benefit of the doubt from me a little bit better that they would be like, fuck, they actually were planning this. Like, you know, when we actually play, you can feel the fucking sprint button or like you can feel the haptic feedback on the PS5 pad. It's really good. Like they've really like looked at this. I think we'll know very quickly, no matter what they're saying, whether this has been the plan all along or whether it was just an afterthought to knock on the next gen. Because, I mean... You know, you're saying you don't think that they'll have all that haptic stuff for, and like, I think they have oh, to if they're oh. going to bring it out in next gen. Do you know what I mean? That's just my personal. Yeah, it has to it has to be there. Yeah. It's one of the key components, you know. But with with that stripping back of the controls, mm. I'm really not sure. And by the way, I'm I'm all for change. Yeah, I think some of the aspects to the controller changes were good. Yeah, the sprint and that is but, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it just felt stripped back and stripped back in favor of mobile. And do you know what I do want? I, I at least want them to give a name to the modes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, try and finalize things like that yeah. and then give us more information on them game modes as well. We really need to know what they're planning on delivering aside from the gameplay, you know, mm. in terms of content. So we need, we, need, we need something meaty, I think. We need some meat on the bones because mm. we have been served up bones here. I'm mm. looking at three of them <laughs> just in terms of, like I say, they, they repeat the message three times about it being yeah. cross-play. Yeah, it's tough. And what about you, Ricky? What do you what do you think in that? What would bring you back from the brink? <laughs> well, like I said you got to show um, you got to show gameplay, as yeah. you said. I mean, that's the main thing. And then, honestly, I I would be honest with you. I probably like ten percent of me was like, yeah, there might be good news, mm. and the rest of it's not because even like when they show that trailer and they they don't have names for game modes yet. Mm. 
And this game's going to be out in a few months. That mm -hmm. goes to me. That's that's a sign that they don't know. They just don't know. They don't know where to go with this. Mm. Uh, are they going to go on Fiverr.com and just ask someone, what do you think of this mode? Should we name it this? Yeah, sure. Give them five bucks. He'll do it. Mm. But it's... Did that for the trailer voiceover, didn't they? <laughs> oh, God. When I heard that, I was like... <laughs> I thought it was you, what, Ricky, was actually. I should have given you a call, Ricky. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was, it was Ricky, actually. Call, shouldn't they? Yeah, the unfiltered version would have been fantastic. Yeah, the music was the best. That sound like you are powerful. I was like, oh no, what is that? As you like can tell, that like, Weedens wasn't doing it. Yeah. Look at the look at the quality we've had over the last few trailers with Weedens. Yeah. We've been blown away by it. it's been generally high quality, mm. and then they go back to this. It's like what's what's happened? Yeah. They're clearly not investing the money they're getting into into marketing this game into the production. So. I don't know. They got to show gameplay. They've got to basically just put our minds to rest at what we're getting here. Mm. Just clear you know things up. Well, just clear things up. Yeah, go ahead. Just going back to the point you've just made there. There were people within the community, you know, that felt that putting money into the game into 2021, 2021 was going to give us a better experience going forward because they, they believed that they would implement that money into the new game. And that was some of people's yeah. psyche for chucking money at the game. And, and this is what's been delivered so far mm. so hit the kick in the teeth to those people as well yeah. i think yeah no I, I, yeah. I agree with you like i do think that we're going to see very quickly whether this you know you can't like you can't hide what's going to be in the finished product it's as simple as that you know if it's if they're saying one thing and then they're like yeah it's going to have this this and this like when we play it and we're like okay well there's no you know there's no haptic feedback there's no vibration in the pad like this isn't in this isn't in like, I think we'll know very quickly, you know? So yeah. I think games... That stuff can be patched though, right? Yeah, it could. And I think, I think that's yeah, exactly it, Ricky. I think now yeah. they're looking at this. And I was saying to you, Vern, before we went live, like, I think personally that they're looking at this as a brand new, like, way of developing the game that, like, they don't have to hit any deadlines anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like, they can just decide to add on a huge update in March. Do you know what I mean? And add fucking something massive in march for my club or a new game mode in june or a new you know what i mean like there's no more like going gold in july and that's right. it that's your game like to hit yeah. you know to start distributing the game and all that sort of stuff two months before launch that's all gone now it's literally just going to be a games as a service like which could potentially obviously again be uh, you know a potential like positive but it just depends what they actually do with that time that they're developing it and that's why, again, I'd, I go back to like, I think we're going to know very quickly ourselves whether this, like we'll, like we'll know. We've played enough PES to know down throughout the years. Like we've had PES 2014, we've had PES 16, we've had the beta and the demo with 18 and 19. Like we know when something feels finished and good and when something is like, mm, I'm not too convinced on this or I'm not sure on this. I mean, we had it like one of the biggest, I think, debates in the last, I don't know, 10 years with PES was the speed like is the speed of pez the demos are usually like lovely and pacey and slow or very p nicely paced slow defending is rewarding and then when the full game comes out based on feedback of people saying it's too difficult to defend it goes a bit faster and that completely unbalances everything and then you're coming up against 101 rated rashfords which completely fucks everything up in my club so i do think yeah i do think that the games as a service tag is going to suit like development if they develop it that way, do you know that kind of way? Like that's that. I think they've backed themselves into a corner. But that's the one thing I would say to you. Like, where do they go from here if this is a complete flop? Like, like where, you know, last year they had they had that. Like, yeah, yeah, but next year is the Unreal Engine. It's our new, you know, a new transition. This year it's like, where do they go from here now if the gameplay isn't good and the content isn't great? You know what I mean? Like, where do they actually go? Like, oh, mobile. Yeah. Yeah, just seriously, I, mm. seriously, I, I implore you to just. Have, have you guys played it? The mobile. Yeah, 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 I've played a bit of it. Yeah, yeah I've played it. Yeah. The menus, the content. Yeah, yeah, I've played about ten hours of it. I'd say more, more. That's what we're gonna get. That's mm. what you'll get. I think mm. if 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 they don't deliver, for what? It's not a large portion, though, is it? I, I like to think of us guys as a large portion, a large section yeah. of the community. But I think it's evident yeah. that we're quite minuscule these days, mm. and it is the mobile guys that really. You know they're driving it. Yeah, they are driving it. Um, and I think I think that's where we're going to end up. Sadly, mm. I do. That if if they don't deliver what 
we anticipate them to. Mm. Um, they've got the backup of this. They really have got the backup of this because they've seen that it's a very profitable, fruitful experience for mm. them because it's a very trimmed down game and shit loads of people are playing it yeah. and putting loads of money into it. So mm. it proves that it works. It's a winning yeah. formula for Konami. You can't deny that. I want to, like, what about Ricky? Just ask you because you obviously are a master league first and foremost. Like, what, what do you make of the plans for the DLC add ons and stuff? Like, are you kind of open to that? Or what, like, what are your followers saying and stuff? Yeah, I'm not. I honestly don't care about that. I, I pay to, like, oh, if whatever, fourteen ninety nine to just play Master League. Mm. Fine, I don't care. I pay $60, $70 for the game. So, yeah. technically, I'm going to be saving money. I just, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's going to be a hard one to see. The whole three-year plan, you know, this, this plan... I don't know what their plan is. Mm. I mean, I really don't. It, the facts are, like, even Adam on Twitter said that he didn't, he didn't know anything about like what's going on. He mm. said, "Ask the developers." Yeah, but aren't you meant to be in sync with them? Mm. Surely, you know, my, if my boss asked me to do something, you know, I should know what my boss is going to. You know, it just. I think they've they've jumped the hoop too quick here. You know, why why go from one extreme to the other? They could have mm. done you know the whole cross gen, but just keep it within like ps5 to ps5 xbox to xbox then after a year or two then you can start evolving it they're already making enough money on mobile so yeah i don't know I, i've talked so much about this over I the know, last yeah. week my we brain is completely that, fried you can just so many we're videos we're just like, yeah it's just fucking but it's that though it it's like they make so much money why couldn't they just keep them separate as well why couldn't yeah. they do it you know if if, if yeah. that's very fruitful and that's working for you guys there in the mobile sector, why not just, you know, focus on the next gen experience? But like I say, that, that laziness element comes in for me then. It's just a case of why don't we just streamline it? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And instead of creating yeah. that stellar experience for the next gen console users and then just continuing to do what they do for the mobile market that they seem to love. Mm -hmm. They do seem to love. So yeah. it is. It's frustrating on that aspect, isn't it? Yeah mobile is just so it's just so big like you know like i think there's 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 no comparison is fifa between... mobile massive too you played I, the fifa game on a mobile i don't think it's as no. big to be honest with you not? they don't really care about it ea no. they just focus on the no i don't think they so. go different directions different yeah. mindsets mm -hmm. i think I mean, that's as well the problem we've been slapped in the face because we look at ea and we look at the marketing and yeah i slag off the gameplay all the time but the facts are, these guys know what they're doing. Mm. They're, they're still pushing out ridiculous content. They're still going for a true next-gen experience. I'm really quite intrigued about this hyper-motion tech. Yeah. You know, how good is it going to be? I mean, Konami have mentioned something about... What are they? They said something about next-gen. I don't know the term they used. It's only going to be in next-gen. So mm. I, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. And hopefully next month they'll... Yeah, they said in that up. interview that, that I don't know, did you, you, probably, you probably both saw that new interview that came out, I think it was yesterday, was it? Was it yesterday or the day before? Where they were mm. talking about like, you know, next gen only stuff and but again, it was very vague, you know what I mean? And a lot of it was probably lost in translation as well, that they were talking about like being able to invite your friends very easily into games, like lobbies and stuff like that. They were talking about like next gen only features. They were talking about like that they were going to be concentrating on they were going to see for the first few months of release and then they're going to be concentrating on where they brought the offline game as in like where they focused development on the offline game whether it was going to be ps5 or whatever um but i i just think that's their in... biggest playstation beats xbox yeah well that's that's how that's many people it. playing on xbox come on not that many yeah, well, not a lot, not a lot until well, Game Pass I think has been quite popular since they put it onto that. But again, that you know, it's free, it's free, like so you are going to try it. You might download a play for an hour and delete it. You know, that's the problem with free to play games. You know, well, they still don't have the option files. <clears throat> well, they don't. Yeah, that's a huge. They're thing They're still as well. behind the times of all that stuff. Yeah. so I don't know. Yeah, that's a roadblock. Sure. But it is like it's just we're kind of in no man's land, and it's like. There's so much to talk about, but at the same time, it's like there's not really that much to talk about because oh, no, it's <laughs> we don't know that much, you know what I mean? Like from what's out there, and we have snippets from like you know that that guy on Reddit, and you know if that, I mean, some of the stuff in there. You guys think that was true, honestly? I don't know. Like the way the guy went into detail is like yeah. number one, why are you trolling? You know, on a, on a thing. Yeah. But but I mean, the one thing he said was that 
like next gen looks phenomenal. So I mean, if if like you're either gonna believe him that he's that he's legit or he's not, you know what I mean? Like it's probably fifty yeah, fifty. I didn't see enough. I mean, it would be great if he was legit because he said that next gen was fucking phenomenal and had a load of yeah. next gen features. Mm-hmm. It, that this was the plan all along i mean i watched your video ricky and it was very well done because like i think when when there's there's no there's nothing worse than having like misinformation i think like you know it's kind of like you don't know whether you're coming or going you know that kind of way like if somebody says no and it's a def- definitive no i think you can get over that quicker than a maybe do you know what i mean so like people will probably latch on to this and say like, yeah, but next gen is going to be sick. You know what I mean? And it's like, when it comes out, then it could do more damage than it's worth. You know, that's the problem. That's the fucking roll of the dice here. Because if you are going to believe him that this, this, you know, the next gen is going to look phenomenal. I mean, we're not going to know until the game comes out and we see that. You know what I mean? So like, at the moment, it's just kind of. I mean, Vern. I know. I don't. I think by you laughing there, you don't. You, did you believe anything? I, of that, yeah. Anything of it, or are you just kind of? No, on that Reddit article, no way, man. Yeah. That, that was that. That lad was just enjoying himself. He enjoying was laughing his cock off. I'm sure. So, yeah, enjoying getting <laughs> featured he was by doing, Ricky. He was doing Konami's work for them, to be honest. Because people <laughs> yeah. well, probably. I mean, it was I've a got positive. It was a think, positive you know, piece, like from what I saw. Like yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah That's the cool. team. Sad. But I think because Konami delivered so little in terms of information, people will latch onto them little aspects and run with them and think, oh, yeah, do you know what? This is going to be good. But what is it? Do we propose maybe six to eight weeks to full release? What are they going to do with it? They've had two years. Yeah. And now all of a sudden in the next six to eight weeks, it's going to be a really all singing, dancing game. I I just don't buy it. I think you need, as I said earlier, if this was a paid product, what they've shown, you wouldn't place a pre-order, would you? Mm. You really wouldn't. Yeah. So why not? If it's all singing and dancing and it's there, bloody show it. Yeah. That's, you know, that, get that's the excited. most confusing part of it all. It's like, why not show you what know? you have if you, if you do have that? Yeah. Like, Marketing, let's just say this guy is real legit. Thing, even, you know, mm. just, just show it us. If it's there, show it us. And, and, and that's my major concern because yeah. it doesn't appear like it is. And if it's not, but something could come. They're going to have to do a lot of a lot of work in six to eight weeks that mm. they haven't managed to do in two years. So, mm. oh no, they, like that, they wouldn't be able. They, there's no way. It, it's either whatever state it's at now. I think we're going to get pretty much for launch. Obviously, they'll work on it up to date. But like, I'd yeah. just be patches. Yeah, That's I mean, there's be. no way that they'd be mm. able. Like, sure, look, look at Halo. I mean, with with Halo Infinite, that's like a budget of like five or six hundred million. They're saying, and that trailer came out last year. And they literally shelved the whole release date and pushed it back by a year and a half. And again, the, the, the trailer still, people are still think don't think it looks absolutely, you know, beautiful. So I don't think six to eight weeks is going to be possible to, to turn well, that look around. Look at Cyberpunk. You know? Yeah. The prime exactly, example yeah. for you. Yeah. Cyberpunk another... in a nutshell. Yeah. And that was a disaster, but... Yeah. You know. But that's the thing, like, it's, it's going nice. to be... It, uh, there's so much, like, there's so much talking points there. But still, at the same time, we're in this, we're in the same boat of like waiting to see what is actually going to drop at Gamescom, you know, waiting to see what we can play. And if like, let's just say that they release a demo next month with Gamescom or shortly after Gamescom. And it's like, yeah, this is a next gen feature. One, two, three next gen features. Like, why didn't you show that in the trailer and save us all this time talking on a podcast about it? Why not just come out and show it? Like, it just doesn't, as you said, Vern, it doesn't really make sense, you know? So, no. If it's there, reveal it. D- don't keep it behind a curtain for yeah. us. We, we, this was meant to be the grand reveal. Mm. You know, they kept us waiting yeah. to this date and they just disappointed. I mean, Ricky, coming back to you in Master League, I mean, if they don't drop it until February, March, what do you even anticipate Master League's going to be like? Would you expect new features, or do you think you might be served something that we've had in the past couple of years? Uh, I mean, I would hope that it's that it's like something completely fresh and and new. But no, I don't. Hold. When was the last time we had a proper like like a rehash of Master League? It's been ages. Mm. I can't even remember now. So I know I don't hold up much hope with it. But um, no, I I really don't know. It's it's a long time away, isn't it? You know, 
considering that would have been, like you said, over two years then, because last year's Master League was the same. The year before that, did they really add anything? The salary thing? I think they maybe added two, three things. Yeah, they added a few. 2020. Features. That would have been, yeah, it would have been nearly two years since they've actually done anything. That, that it, whatever they were produced will show me what they've actually been working on for the last few yeah. years. I know they said they've been working on it for two years, but have they? Yeah. Or do they spend the first year just deciding what they want to do, and then they started designing the game for the last... They could have been working on this for six months, to be honest. Mm. We don't know. What mm. they showed us with the stability test, damn right, six weeks, maybe. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I think a lot of my hope for Konami is just... Uh, it's what? It's the student approach. You know when you got when you had a project at uni yeah, yeah, yeah. and you had like a, a couple of months to do it, and then it was <laughs> oh, the last few just, weeks when you really yeah. put the work in, and it's just, all like, that's the time. Yeah. You just you know just that's get it exactly done. It. But, it's your best work done though. Those you know? nights, man. Uh, it's alright. I got FIFA career out your, mode lined up. They got create a club. Yeah. 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 I think, they're like, doing that. FIFA, the, FIFA's doing create. A, they're doing create your own club. You, yeah. you can make your own stadium. You can do this, that, and it's like. You're going to make me play FIFA. I can't stand it, but I'm going to have to play it. It's madness. Yeah, I think this is going to be the first year ever that, like, there's no, there's going to be no, um, I have to buy one or the other. Do that kind of way, because Pez is going to be free. And I think Konami are hoping that. You definitely don't have to buy one of them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think (laughs) Pez 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 or Konami are probably hoping that, you know, if they, if they release early and it's like a free entry point into the series that it's like, yeah, let's try it out and, and play it. You know what I mean? I think that's, that's what it is, you know? And there's so many gamers now around that wasn't there 10, 15 years ago that that model, as you said, Vern, I do agree. I think this is going to be stupidly successful for them when it's in like, I think 12 months from now we'll be sitting here thinking fucking hell. Like that was financially. I'm talking now strictly. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, it's going to be, it's going to be huge. Mm. You can't I mean, but then again, that. the season update was massive, like massively financially financially successful as well. Yeah, you know. Yeah, without so, doubt. I'd like to know the demographic yeah. of 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 people who play on mobile. Like, is mm-hmm. it kids? Is it teenagers that are playing the most? Is it you know? I'm in my thirties now. I mean, I have a different mindset to people with teenagers. Honestly, kids yeah. these days are they're not they're not the same as we used cool. to be. You know, they're all over the place. So <laughs> yeah, I'd like to just to know. Hey, honestly, I went to the gym yesterday, and like these guys are taking selfies of themselves. These guys walking around with his shirt up, and I'm like, when did uh, this on, become a, a few, thing? I've seen a few selfies from you now. Come on, don't be fucking. I haven't done one for a good few weeks. <laughs> 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 but it's just, it's all changed now, and it's just, I feel like the demographic for the mobile is probably teenagers. In fact, one of my nephew, not my nephew, but my girlfriend's nephew is a. Uh, He's a big baseball guy. He knows I do a YouTube channel. So now he's downloaded Pez Mobile and he's been playing it like crazy. Yeah. Doesn't even like football. Yeah. Still that's, tries it out. So, that's the thing, man. It, like the, that's the, it. The market is, and I made this point before, and it's like the market has changed so rapidly with the emergence of like Fortnite and free to play games that like any, anybody I know or like any like nephew or well, not nephew, but like, like smaller cousins or, you know, like friends that have young kids, like six, seven or whatever, like they literally, it's actually crazy how they interact with gaming and stuff. Like they're watching YouTube videos, like nonstop of like, you know, the biggest content streamers, like, you know, we were out and we were out in the parks, like, you know, we were out like kicking the shit out of each other, like on a footy field or whatever. And that's what we were doing. And I'm obviously a bit younger than you, Vern. Sorry now to call you the old man, but oh, like <laughs> we all fucking, we all did our, we all did the same thing. I think this generation in the last 15 years, and you oh, probably see with your kids as well, like are your kid that like changed. everything has just changed like so rapidly that as you said, Ricky, it's not even, I don't think now about the, the, the game you're playing. It's about like getting the hooks in and just retaining that, player like as you said he'd never played football before or doesn't like football but it's actually the addiction of the game do you know that he likes getting in and exploring it and collecting stuff and logging in you know, like i know people that will log in to pez for a full year that have never played it and be like yeah i want to get my login bonus for what like you're not playing the game <laughs> do you know what i mean it's just that hook that they have you so yeah, yeah. yeah it has changed rapidly There's people even on console doing that though yeah, yeah that's I know what i'm saying yeah who- who ditched the game pre-Christmas mm. and then have come back to try and bag a Kaka yeah. or a Neymar. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that, that's where the accountability comes in as well for me because I think on mobile especially, it feels almost like it's just a, 
a digital collector's book. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's just a digital sticker book. Let's get these players, you know, and, and you, you take that ownership of them. And, and there's there's the whole psyche in it as well as in there. It's very addictive. It is addictive. And we, we, we've all been hooked in some capacity. Yeah. Because it, it gives you a nice little buzz when you pack that player. Yeah, it does. It does. I mean, like, obviously, when they had the United Legends and that, I mean, it's like this. I always say it to somebody, it's like, you're going to buy Pez. And they're like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not going to get it. It's like, what if they fucking added on Reno or Ronaldo or Cantona? It's like, oh, yeah, fuck, I would. Or, like, you know, I mean, to you, Ricky, yeah. if they added somebody like Cantona or fucking Van Nistelrooy or Roy Keane or someone, oh. like, we'd be kind of like, yeah. Or Zidane. You know, you'd be like, fuck, I could get enjoyment out of that. Mm-hmm. I could get good content out of that. I could do a good series with him. Like, that's that's yeah. what does hook you in, you know? So I think that has changed as well, you know, that kind of content, you know, of you want you want to be part of that when you see people putting up that they've spun a hundred rated Haaland and it's like yeah well fuck I want to get him as well and it's like you know it, it, it it's like a weird kind of like hook that they have there that's like we're all weak to I think you know <laughs> it's like buying stickers when you were younger like for your yep. sticker books that's what it's exactly. like you know it's, it's the same process yeah. isn't it it's the same theory applied and that's where we are yeah man but well, listen, lads, we'll end it there because shit. I want to fucking get some food and uh, wash my hair because I look like a fucking, I don't know what the fuck my hair is like. I said, Ricky, just before, this is like the, we should do like a gym commercial because you're like right to the right of me. It's like the before and the after if I start working out now, you know, <laughs> with the arms, you know, look, they're fucking. There you go. Nah, they're small, <laughs> man. Too much fucking PS5 and not enough benching and fucking bicep curls, you know. Dude, I don't do the same workout as I used to. Twice a week, that's all I go down the gym. Yeah. You're getting older, you see, that's the problem. It's getting lazy, that's yeah, what it yeah. is, yeah. Konami's made me lazier. <laughs> it's the food, man. I, I'm okay for the exercise running and, the and food. that, but the food, I'd never be able to give up the food, like, to get a nice, oh, you know. If I live stateside, Ricky, I'd just, I'd just <laughs> eat myself into a coma every day. I really would. Food's amazing out it's... there, man. Yeah, it's too much. I mean, no, I do no, I do miss the British food. Like, it's not the same. Like, the bangers and stuff over here are terrible. Sausages, mm. horrendous. You can't get, like, scotch eggs, pork pies. I miss that stuff, but uh, the, the portion size, yeah, oh, that's... I mean, free it's refills and everything. It's, like, that big. They what? Free refills and everything. Yeah, free we refills and anything. Free, it's, like, yeah, we, when we... Is went, it still not we... like that over there? You guys don't get refills? No. Not in Ireland, anyway. Not really. Jesus Christ, they'd no, look at you twice really if didn't. you went for a refill in Subway over here, for fuck's sake. <laughs> they actually do have it on most of the machines. One refill only. That's it. That's oh, Blimey. But I remember when we were traveling in the States, really? like, and we, we couldn't believe that, like, you'd be sitting down and you'd have, like, you know, you'd have your fries and a burger, whatever. Like, pretty much everywhere I went, I got a burger. And, like, they just come down with extra fries, like, and extra drinks without you even asking. You'd be like, the thing would be half fucking full, and they'd come down and just top you up. Like, yeah. like, bottomless fuck. fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fries. bottomless fries, bottomless drinks for, like, three euro, three dollars extra or something like that. I know, it's, it's pissing <sighs> down right now, yeah. Fucking living the dream, boy. That's what you are, living the dream. Don't come to Florida in the summertime, it's terrible, honestly. It's just rain, and there you go. Thunder. Oh, wow. That's the thunder. Yeah, That's the fucking <laughs> ring of the noise. Cue. Ridiculous. but anyway boys look we'll end it there it's just about yeah. an hour and 20 minutes we could have talked a bit longer but i think we would have just ended up repeating ourselves i can sense the frustration through yeah. the mics to be honest well. as well i can see it in your eyes <laughs> well, we'll wait just... till after games come yeah and hopefully we'll have yeah, something to talk we should about get back so. and have another chat after Definitely, that see if yeah. the, uh, no, enjoy provide it. anything else for us to discuss yeah enjoy it because at the end of the day like we are pez fans or e-football fans and it's like but well, we're it's... not e-football fans we're pez fans <laughs> We haven't school. crossed that gap yet. Yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, Can't we're, we're going to have to work on the branding now of eFootball Universe instead of Pez Universe. I know someone yeah, said that in a comment. I was like, on, have we? No. I mean, the, we the branding even is. We have touched on the branding aspect. And... It's going to be huge. I mean, that's purely for, for what's the name? That's eSports, right? That's it. That's yeah, why yeah, they, yeah. they've done it. Yeah, I, I think so. Play. I think that was sticking out from last year with the eFootball Pro as well. You know? Yeah. All that with stuff. The renaming of that and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll touch base after after games come, maybe, and we'll get in and have a, another chat. Um, but yeah, we'll end it there. Just about an hour and twenty minutes. So, thanks for taking the time again, boys, as usual. Hopefully, Love Island no is finished by now, so I can go down and actually watch something decent on the fucking box. She's watching Love Island. <laughs> okay. You have that over there, Ricky. Love Island, no? 
Do they have over? I have watched. I think I watched one season. One season. It Gosh. wasn't an American one or an English one. I don't know. This is very bad. You watch that, it very that, well. that was it. No, it's not for me. That <laughs> no, it's just different, no. isn't it? Oh man, it's fucking yeah. gas. Like it's just. So I fucking... watch the same TV shows over and over again. I'm terrible. The Office I'm and fucking. Yeah, The Office and, and uh, Forty Towers. Try and watch the stuff that now gets banned because everyone's a snowflake. So yeah, you can't, yeah. Uh, It'll be coming. Ridiculous. I went back watching all the South Parks, like the older seasons of South Park. They're so fucking. I don't know how they got I never away got into with South Park. Stuff. You're more Family Guy. Nah, I never got well, into those shows. American Dad, the other. Dad. Yeah, usually it's one or the other. Family Guy or South Park. I find with my friends. Mm. What about you, Vern? I was more South Park. Yeah, South, South Park. Park. Not religious, but I yeah. did enjoy it. That's what I fucking love. Love a Family Guy. Yeah, Family Guy. I could never watch it. I don't know. Could never see the appeal. But anyway, lads, look, we'll leave it there. Um, Ricky, I'll let you go, and Vern, I'll let you go, and we'll end it there. Thanks for taking the time, no and Good. hopefully we'll be well, back with a more you guys. a more positive spin the next time on uh, on eFootball or Pez Twenty Two, whatever you want to call it. But, Fingers uh, crossed. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so we'll see. I'll, I'll I'll happily sit here with egg on my face, put it that way, because that'll mean <laughs> that they've delivered. But we're just gonna get you to right. crack an egg over your forehead live on. Uh... I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> that, that, that... We'll shake on it. Virtual <laughs> shake. All right, boys. We'll end it there. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget, you can check it out on YouTube and SoundCloud. So whatever you're listening to this on, if you want to watch the video, it's on YouTube, obviously. We should be seeing us now. And then audio will be on SoundCloud and iTunes. So thanks to the boys as well. You can check the lads out on Twitch and YouTube. And um, I'll leave links in below as well. But yeah, that's it for now. We'll be back. I think Friday we're going to be doing one as well. But I don't know when I'll update that. So yeah from me that's it i'll let the boys say their good looks as well and uh we'll talk to you later bye guys yeah. thank you take care guys enjoyed it as yeah. always see you in a bit all right take care guys thanks barry thanks for having me on